Hello, welcome to our kitchen at our cabin. I'm reaching way back in the past and I'm making one of my grandparents' favorite things and that is red eye gravy. You don't hear much about red eye gravy anymore. It's um, something that I grew up with. Like I said, my grandparents loved it, both sets, and we still love it at our house. I've got my skillet on a medium high and as you see I just added a pat of butter to this this is a simple simple gravy and it's basically made with ham drippings this ham is so good it's one of our favorites I've got my heat on about a medium high and this is a country ham. This is a little bit different than your traditional ham. This is a salt cured dry ham. As a matter of fact, this doesn't even need to be in the refrigerator until it's been opened. This is a great pantry staple. I keep it here at the cabin. That way, if I forget maybe bacon or some sausage, I always have something on hand. And if the electricity goes out, we're not out. I want this ham to render down just a little bit because I'm gonna make the gravy with these drippings. The smell of this country ham just reminds me of my childhood. I can remember my grandmothers, both of them, making this. My mother made it. My dad loves it. And I can't help but to think about my granddaddy Adams when I make red eye gravy. This was his personal favorite. I remember days on the farm and... Oh, the smell of this country ham cooking, what great memories those are. Now I'm gonna let this cook just a little bit. I've got a good bit of liquid from the butter and then the drippings that are starting to come off the ham, but I want it to brown just a little bit and reduce about half of this amount. When you're shopping for this country ham, you normally won't find it in the refrigerated section. This is usually on an end cap or uh, an aisle item, and it's a shelf item. So if you're gonna shop for it, you may look in those areas versus where you're gonna see the refrigerated hams. Starting to get nice and brown, and I'm seeing some brown bits. A lot of that moisture has evaporated. So, I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up. Look at that. Look. Now, I've got some fresh hot coffee. And I'm pouring maybe about a third of a cup in this. I'm going to start with that. Mm, let's go with a little bit more. This looks perfect. Now, I'm going to turn down my heat. I don't want this to render. I'm just going to let it sit and warm. Just let that coffee do its job. Now, I'm gonna fry a couple of eggs real quick and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna serve this up. We like our eggs sunny side up and this looks perfect. You have to have some grits with red eye gravy. I'm just gonna make a little well in them. Yum. And last, I have some biscuits. That is another must with red eye gravy. And let's see. 
look at these. They are absolutely beautiful. My husband is going to be so happy. He is on his way back. He's been at the front of the property, and I told him what we were having, and he is chomping at the bit to get back here and get some of this now. This looks so good. Now, let me just give this a taste. See if it's fitting to eat. Mmm. Is it ever? Oh. I just love the flavor of that red-eye gravy. You get the saltiness from the ham and that good ham flavor, and then the bitterness of the coffee works perfectly with the grits, and it's delicious on the ham. Well, I see my husband. He has just pulled up, and it is right on time. Next time you're at the grocery store, grab some of this country ham and give this red-eye gravy a try. I think that you're going to like it. Maybe share a story or two about the person in your life that loved this gravy. You're a blessing to me. Thanks so much for watching. Will you press that like button and share this video with your friends? And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my Kathy Southern kitchen page on YouTube and Facebook. Well, I'm wondering if Jimmy's going to share. What do you think? <laughs> I think he will. I'll see you next time.